Hello there, welcome to the clinic. I have your medical records here. And I can see there's quite a history of things going wrong with your health. Now my job as your doctor today is go through each of these areas and to ensure everything is within normal limits. Now first up you're under your optometrist for an epithelial corneal dystrophy managed by ocular lubricants. You have a strict schedule which is good but I want to review the integrity of the cornea first. some fluorescein dye into the eyes it doesn't stink and you can drive afterwards just look up take a few blinks Grab the Burton lamp. I'm going to hold it just in front of the face. Just look through the window back at me. And I'll review all zones of the cornea. Now just blink. No apparent staining in the right eye. And for the left, take another blink. Excellent. Now how do your eyes feel at the moment? Are you experiencing any pain or discomfort? Good. I think that shows by the lack of staining there. Just using the grading scale here. Safe to say that corneal staining at the moment is at say grade zero. Marvellous. I'm going to prescribe more of the saline fresh ocular lubricants for you as well. 0.5% common hours so it is moderately viscous there and you have the individual minims excellent okay so back in 2010 you experienced a Bell's palsy now, let me have a look at some of your facial expressions. So, just facing me, I want you to raise the eyebrows. Show me your teeth. Close your eyes. And give me a frown. Okay, a difference in aperture size there. Let's measure the vertical aperture. So straight ahead towards me. And the palsy was on the right side. So we're reading at seven there. And on the left, let's look back at me. And at twelve there, so it's an obvious disparity between the vertical lid apertures there. some facial sensations close the eyes this is the sharp and this is the dull we'll focus around this region first tell me which one you feel and let's compare that 
to the other side to keep the eyes closed please okay open the eyes very good so as you know no treatment was required for the bell's palsy facial expressions good obviously got that ptosis on the right and you can see the differences on the right side with those facial expressions it's probably going to be a lifelong thing you'll have there right two years ago you had a skin carcinoma removed just on the forehead there How did the surgery go? Okay, I'm just having a look at the scar. Let's have a look on the opposite side. Okay, and have you noticed any new skin lesions? in the common places where carcinomas can be found particularly the eyelids, lower lid and obviously the head with the ultraviolet radiation and the temples good and the rest of the face there the scar is nicely healed as you know further lesions identified on the face. Now for the last three years you've been under the care of the ophthalmologist at the eye hospital for glaucoma and you're taking IOP lowering drops at night right and left. I do want to check your intraocular pressures tonight and have a look at the optic nerve some anaesthetic and drops into the eyes. One now at the time. Look up. One there. And one there. Okay, just take a few blinks. I'll get the tonometer set up for you. probe is going to touch the front surface of the cornea I'm going to adjust the dial as I'm looking through the window so I look straight ahead at one point sixteen mil of mercury there Sixteen and seventeen at ten twenty PM. Make an out of that. Sixteen left seventeen. Do you know what your target eye pressure should be? Not to worry, I'll send a copy of those to your optometrist. Now with glaucoma, the physical changes we observe is at the optic nerve. So I want to have a look at your optic nerves. And check the cupping and looking for any other new features that could have developed. Just look into the distance, please. Okay, so that cupping is 0.8. There may be some superior rib thinning there. I like it was PPI on the temporal side.
the signs of any splinter hemorrhages. Okay. I have the results of the optic nerve assessment there. Point 0.8, point 0.9 PPA. Temporal sides there. Nil hemorrhaging. And the left bayonetting around the 2 o'clock region. says here 2018 that you experienced a third nerve palsy affecting the left so the left eye was down and out and you required monitoring at the hospital and it says here that you made a full recovery so let's do some tests to investigate that particular area. First of all, I want to check your eye movements. Head steady, both eyes open. Follow the red dot, please, as I observe. Report any double vision back to me. I'm liking those eye movements there. Now with the third nerve pulse, we must check the pupil sizes. So using this scale, just look towards me please. Right pupil, seven. And left. Seven, so no evidence of an isochoria there. I want to do the cover test there. I'll just look straight. I block the nose. And I'm just going to do the swinging cover test. If you're looking towards me. the light. I want to check the corneal reflexes. Okay, and at this distance. You're looking into the light. 
height. Lovely and symmetrical there. Look off into the distance, just check how they react to the light. swinging flashlight test excellent reactions there so yes it looks like you had a full recovery from that third nerve palsy Corneal reflexes, symmetrical, 40 centimetres and 1 metre. Pupil reactions, direct consensual, now RIPD. Cover test, orthophoria. Right, moving on to the next area. During lockdown, 20... 20, 2021 sorry you experienced a loss of smell from COVID so let's do a smell test to see if the recovery has been good ok we have some samples here bear with me Present the smell just under the nose. You breathe in. Tell me what you think you smell. And I'll reveal the answers afterwards. Okay, so eyes closed, please. Breathe in. here just breathe in again breathe in there and for the final one keep the eyes closed Just breathe in there, please. Okay, you've done very well. That was, in fact, banana. The second was vanilla. Third was garlic. And the fourth was, in fact, Nescafe Gold Blend Coffee. Excellent work on the smell test. Showing good signs of recovery still from your viral infection. Banana, vanilla, garlic, coffee. Now the final area we're going to explore is the ears because I understand that last month you had some plugs removed by your audiologist, Benorale. So it's important that I look into your ear canal the otoscope and perform a little bit of audiometry to check the hearing. Let's start 
with otoscopy. Okay, just turn to your left ever so slightly. Just to there. And let's have a look straight to the lateral portion. I've done a good job there. The pathway is nice and clear. And the air drum is looking pearly white, nice and healthy. Was it painful having your plugs removed? That's great. Look this way then, please. Good, medial portion, even better, tympanic membrane. Again, barely white, no signs of any pathology to the eardrum, marvellous. Looks as though they've done a good job there at the audiometry clinic. Now for some hearing. Let's set up the audiometer. It's going to present some sound stimuli. Just say yes if you hear the sound. I want to get the right frequency and volume here. Start on this side. Are you ready? Just say if you hear the sound, please. side okay let me just reduce the volume 40 decibels here yeah. are you ready and for the opposite side again Going to go to 4000 Hertz here for the final check. And just save you here the sound, please. And for the other side. Hear the beeping? Review. Nice, clear, auditory canal. Perfect score on audiometry. So I'm pleased to say, after checking each area, everything is looking okay. Just need to keep an eye on the glaucoma, but your ophthalmologist is looking after that. I'll send them a copy of your IOP readings. Obviously watch out for any skin lesions or discoloration. That needs checking immediately if you detect anything. Corneas are looking fine. Bell's palsy is as it was. Recovery from the third nerve palsy and recovery of sense of smell there. All right. So I think I can let you go now. Thank you very much for coming today.